What is up guys, welcome in, my name is Nick and welcome to the channel and we are here for the deep dive into update 13 for Forza Motorsport. So here we go, so right off the rip we have Drift Mode. Yes, it is here, the not very well kept secret of Drift Mode coming to Forza. Um, it wasn't really a secret, they were actually saying it was going to be in there from the start. But yes, uh, it's here, um, I am not a driftist, uh, I, I am not proficient in making the slidey slide um so look forward to some interesting videos where we go apparently there's some learn to drift school as a thing here in forza so uh, expect some hilarity from that as i try and figure out how to control a car in a slide um so yeah it basically just goes through explaining how the drift mode works how you're scored on it and um how you can do it basically anywhere on any lap at any time and you can initiate drift moding in public multiplayer as well in the meetup version of the multiplayer um so yeah that if you are a drift enjoyer if you like sliding the car sideways this is definitely the update for you uh, it goes into giving some drifts for some inept people like me uh, some drifts some tips for inept people like me and how to make the car slide apparently a good way is turning off traction control which uh yes i would have assumed that and rear wheel drive also obviously is probably a good idea i think that's a bit obvious but thank you anyway uh, thank you anyway turn 10 for that that is um that's appreciated and yes the other big one is private multiplayer now have practice and qualifying so you can do actual factual homebrew league racing now with qualifying and practice sessions so that is awesome hopefully i can get some more uh, races going with you guys if we actually um if i my schedule clears up and i stop being insanely busy um but yes we are going to hopefully be looking to do some league races on the discord and the group so if you are an enjoyer of mine and an enjoyer of forza keep your eyes peeled for that um improvements yet again to the forza regulation system they've changed some of the available penalties so it's now just not avoidable contact there's degrees of severity severity there's degrees of severity in the uh, sort of penalties it can dish out in terms of contact and also in terms of time gain cuts and things like that as well. So yeah, it's a bit more clarity. I don't know. I haven't actually said if they've changed how they are actually going to calculate them. I think it's now just they've put like maximum gates on it and changed how you're informed about it. So I don't think the actual underlying calculations have really changed all that much from my reading of the wording there, but we shall have a look and see. Now the other, other main thing, Sunset Peninsula is back. Yes, baby, we have a five layout Sunset Peninsula back from Forza 3, Forza 4, something like that. It was basically Forza's version of Daytona when they didn't have the license to Daytona. It's a tri-oval with an infield section. It's a really fun track. Um, it's going to be massive bits of nostalgia uh, when we go back there, but there's, there's no reused assets at all. It's a completely brand new track, completely brand new build. Um, I've seen some other people racing on it and it looks pretty good, I'm not going to lie. Um, but yeah, it's going to take me a minute because it's been a long time since I've raced uh, Sunset Peninsula, but I remember enjoying it very much back in the day. So yeah, that is a welcome addition. Again, not uh, unsurprised because they did confirm that a few months ago. Um, and now obviously we've got to wait for update 15 for Bathurst, which is going to be a good way to close out the year, I think. That should be fun. Um, right, so the rest of this content is Mustangs. If you are a Mustang enjoyer, this is the update for you. You have about 183,000 different Mustangs that have been added to the game. We've got three ready to rock additions there. We've got the Formula Drift Mustang added. We've got the Dark Horse added for car pass enjoyers, along with a couple of other Formula Drift ones, which from what I understand have been in Forza Horizon for a while, but obviously I've taken their time to move over here. I am guessing it's probably related to the improved suspension model that Forza Motorsport has over Horizon. Um, so there is that, which is probably the reason they've been like slow to update some stuff. Um, I'm going to stop trying to make excuses for them because it's kind of a little bit too late. But, you know, this is kind of the stuff the game should have had from launch. It's kind of proving that we've been in like an open access alpha slash beta thing for the past 12 months. But anyway... We'll, carry, we'll, we'll move on from that. So along with all that, you've got your normal additions to career mode of various different things and or stuff. If you are a career mode enjoyer, these are the things for you here. 
I'm not, so I don't really care about that. Some more reward cards, which you'll be able to earn through the new hub system thing, which I might get around to doing. I've yet to really do that. Didn't get the McLaren Ultra. Didn't get the uh, Aston Martin GTE. So, yeah, I'm just not one for farming content, to be honest. Uh, spotlight cars, more Mustangs. Uh, Mustang, 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 and Mustang. VIP discounts on... Oh, a Viper Formula Drift there for the, for the discount. And then... Mustang, Mustang, Mustang. Okay, so with the multiplayer events, there's been some slight changes to Spotlight series and how it will appear on multiplayer section. Not really anything too major to talk about there. We've got uh, the Mustang Challenge series, and we've also got a favourite of mine, the MX-5 Cup, coming back this month as well. So we're definitely going to be rinsing some of that because that is a fantastic little car. We've done some community races in that before, and at least it's some great, great driving. Uh, if you are a open class enjoyer, we've got some more cycled series stuff going on there we've got the basically it looks like they're fixing the bas and r um ones as a fixed cycle and then we've got a few other ones as well as a rotation uh, we've got the returning of gtx sport series proto h and gtpc as well for the community choices so that is cool we might dabble into some gtx's because i do enjoy those uh, update 13 there'll be no longer a spotlight series that's basically what i just said there there's no um actual dedicated area for it anymore it's just going to be slightly more congruent on the online featured multiplayer section and then just confirming the removal of gt4 and their plans to bring it back in the future with a multi-class variant which would be pretty cool uh, when you've only got two options or three options to choose from uh, it's kind of difficult to run a, a series on that and uh, in my opinion the Janetta was just the best one anyway and yeah, yeah that should be uh, hopefully we'll be getting some more gt4 soon because i do really enjoy gt4 but there's just not enough of them uh, right, moving on, featured series, so this gives you a list of all the stuff that's available for this month here. A few of them actually look appear to be doubled up as well, so we're having running. From what I can see, this update is only running until the November 7th, so we've actually only got about a three-week runtime on this update. So, mm, not well sure what's going to happen with that, whether they're going to release some more stuff later on, or if we're actually just going to jump straight from 13 to 14. Um, maybe they've got some big plans for 14, I don't know. But yeah, from what I can see here with the dates matching up, started uh, October 17th, so that was two days ago as the time of recording, going to November 7th. So update 14 going to be like November 3rd, 4th, something like that. Really not long, it's like three weeks. That's interesting. Um, yeah, just confirmation spec series rotating between a GT2, a GT3, a GT2, and with a Forza spec touring cart spec series running alongside that. Forza... Please remove the short races for fuck's sake. They're, they're just bad. Just remove the short races from touring costs, please. I'm going to say it's every bloody update until I see it confirmed. Uh, they have actually confirmed something else later on in terms of multiplayer track or multiplayer length, but um, we'll go through that in a second. Um, more open class rotation, multi class, yeah, ABCS, and then you've got the rotation of the dancing through those other ones there. Uh, rivals stuff, it incorporates drifty stuff with the new drifty things. All the stuff you'd expect in terms of the. Uh, rivals hub there challenge hub just confirms what you get how you get it blah 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 weekly challenges again confirming the more stuff in the challenge hub thingy my bobby uh lots of stuff there right bug fixes and improvements we've got lots of stuff in terms of crash fixes which is always good to see more stability is more better uh pc camera change stuff and then more fixes is more better uh, a few different audio changes so the pagani huira uh, has been fixed apparently um it's corvette c7r fair enough uh, and the honda integra it's an interesting list to choose um but it seems to be a good thing and they're going to look to see if they can improve audio stuff in the future in the developer note there as well always good for better sounding cars i guess i didn't think they were terrible terrible to begin with but i'm not too much of an audio file when it comes to that sort of stuff if it sounds like a car i'm probably fine with it i'm not gonna lie uh, we've had some fixes to vir um some visual updates the track looks a bit more uh, the, sorry the grass looks a bit more like grass now apparently they've adjusted the grip across the track in terms of uh, when it's raining um and there's less stuff to drive into on the side of the track now um 
fine, I guess. Uh, I tried to stay on the track, so again, not really something I'm worried about, but I guess that's more so less signs to be found in, uh, coming through the sweepy bits. So some slight changes to car aero. I missed this on my quick breeze through the list. It's, uh, apparently, it's just going to make drafting a bit better or something. I don't know. We'll see what happens with that, to be honest. It could be just to do with the wake. Um, but yeah, let's have a look here. Rival mode, fixed rivals. Uh, uh, damn it, Roman said okay it's just a bug in terms of rivals fine uh right so feature multiplayer here we go so move the weekly cycle weekly race to the feature tab we knew that gt4 spectra has been removed from that increase race length of medium races to target 18 minutes from 16 minutes so we've got an extra two minutes in the medium races and yet they leave short races in the bucking race uh but yes we've got an extra two minutes in terms of the medium races there so hopefully that will be better i didn't think the medium races were needing to be longer to be honest they felt fine but an extra lap is fine i guess and the other main one is tire scaling in the short and medium races has been reduced to 4x from 6x so that is more consistent with the long races as well so as uh, so your medium tires uh, should last you even better through the short races now because they were usually pretty borderline at the end of a short race so um does help the audi in terms of balance i think if you make that car use its tires less quickly it means it's probably going to be competitive for longer so that was the trade-off for the audi because it is substantially quicker generally um but it ate its tires quicker so um, see all that does in terms of balancing for the touring cars but uh, i don't know enough about the gts to worry about that one to be honest uh updated lineup uh, don't really worry about that to be honest we've got some slight balancing to the proto cars we've got a uh, reduced weight of the cadillacs um by five percent across the new proto uh hybrid ones 2023 ones um the porsche's had this horsepower reduced by 14 percent that's a massive amount kind of well, it makes you wonder why the balance was that way to begin with if you've got to knock 14 percent off of the horsepower but anyway um and yeah there's a slight to the 2021 cadillac has had its um horsepower tweaked a little bit uh, and it's had its rate reduced uh, a little bit as well so there's some balance in there for the proto series Private multiplayer, some more bug fixes. Livery had some more bug fixes. UI bug fixy thingies. And the rest of this is all just generally bug fixy stuff. But yeah, there we go, guys. That has been a run through of update 13. The bits I think we should take away from that would be drift mode, obviously. Uh, Sunset Peninsula, obviously. Private multiplayer qualifying, obviously. And then some. Um, slight adjustments to the medium race length i think is quite important in terms of how long that race is going to be and how much tires wear now so yeah that could be quite interesting to be honest but yeah there we go guys this has been a run through update 13 thank you very much for listening to my inane ramble for the last 10 or so minutes um if you are still here and you do appreciate these do press the like button leave me a comment what you think the biggest thing in update 13 is going to be and uh, if you have not already press that little subscribe button and i'll catch you in the next one cheers <laughs>